and welcome back today i'm back on the chromebook i want to look for options where you can cite and create reference lists for your academic work you are kind of limited on google docs but i'll show you the built-in option for referencing but you can also use refworks that integrates because it's cloud-based with google docs and you can get that sometimes free with the place where you're doing your your studies but not always so i'm going to look at another option we could use so first thing we want to do if you've got microsoft word you could open that. Now, what I want you to do is open up Office 365 for me, which I'm about to do now, and then log in. You get that free of your studies as well. Now, I'm going to open a blank document. Once open, just maximize your window so you can see it clearly. I want you to come to where it says insert. Come all the way along to the end. And select for me add-ins now what we're looking for is Mendeley so type it in if you can't see it tap on it now what you select add so we're going to add this to Microsoft Word and now you can see the plugins now available so if I actually tap on it you can see it opening up on the right now with your sources using this on Chromebook, it saves a lot of your sources into OneDrive for you. And you know you've got massive storage free with that as well. So come to the right. Now, you might not get this up yet because you haven't set up your Mendeley. So I'm going to click the three little dots there. I'm already signed in. So you're going to have to sign in or create an account. So I want you to open a new tab if you haven't already done this. Type Mendy in there for me and select the top option. And then at the top here, I want you to create a free account. Once you create your free account, you'll then be able to access it. Now remember, you can't download it on Chromebook, but once you have logged in, it will bring up this window for you here. And that way, we can do searches internally with Mendeley for sources. But if I come top right, there's my profile. And there's my library and this is where you can be storing all your sources that you access online and there's a couple i've got there already tap in here and then you can create a new topic so i'm just going to pop in health and click the enter key and there it is now i'm ready to go now i need to find some sources to add so what i want to do is come back out of there for me top left hand corner it takes you back to Mendeley search. Now I reckon a good idea here is to split them. So what I mean by this, you can add this to your favorites top right. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to minimize that and drag that over and drag one of those tabs off so I can see them both. So I'm going to drag that on the other side. And that way we can lock them in by dragging them all the way to the left. And remember, drag this all the way to the right and they lock in. So now, I've got a few options. If I come to the right, I could tap on that and leave that on my library. So when I do my research on the left, I can access the library and see what I'm doing. So I've got my health folder here. So let's do a bit of research on health. I'll pop anything in. I'll pop the heart in. And there's some sources also tells you on the right here, for example, 64 citations, 861 readers. So you can scroll down, find the source that you feel you want to use. Open source means you can access the journal as well, be it a PDF or whatever format that might be. Now you might say, do you know, look at that. I'm just going to add that to the library now. So I'll select it and look to the right. It's now added it. So what we can do then is drag it into the folder you want. So I'm just going to drag that down to help and pop it in there. And then you might carry on and you might get to one you actually want to read as well. So I'm going to select heart failure and COVID-19. So again, you can go down there and even view the PDF. So if I bring up the PDF, you can actually download and view the PDF. But remember, when you're downloading it, you'll be downloading it either to your drive or the storage on your Chromebook. Now, I've got an additional video on this. I'll leave the link underneath if you want to know more about using the online mentally. But I'm going to come back out of there. And I'm going to add that to my library as well.
and again you'll see it appear on the right you can see why i split the screens now it just makes life a little bit easier and again i can hold the left button and drag that into the folder that i want and there we go i've got myself a couple of sources to start working with there's another option here i haven't shown you yet so i'm doing new tab at the top if you get Mendeley in Porter, you can grab sources and PDFs from different. So type in there for me, Mendeley in Porter. And there it is. Select it there to install. And follow all prompts. And add to Chrome. And add extension. You can see at the top now, I can access it. Just do a two finger tap on it and select manage extension just to make sure it's turned on. And yes, it is, it's on, it's good to go. I'll show you that in a minute as well. So there you go, grab the couple of sources. Then I'll decide actually, I wanna go an external source. So this time I'm gonna to go to Google Scholar, for example. Open up the link and again do a search. So we stick with the heart topic. And you've been on Google Scholar before, it's really good, but you have to do a lot of reading to find the sources you want. It's pretty mixed. Now, again, we've got the options down here cited how many times related articles you can also access. But I'm just going to select that option, Heart of Darkness. I don't think that's any relevance, but just to show you. Now we've got a couple of options here, and I'm not quite sure what this will be a book. It's like a book, doesn't it? But I don't know whether this book's got an ISBN number to be identified. But I'm going to select this little option here, Mendeley Importer. Make sure you leave that a while till it actually comes up. And there we go, we've got a journal article there, and we've also got the web page that I could tick. So now I'm going to select Add. says it's failed if you look it hasn't failed it's there and then again I can drag that into my folder again and organize it in my library and select close come back out there so there you go I've gathered some sources and now I'm ready to work in Word now remember that plugin we put in Word so I'm going to open up Microsoft Word and I'm going to actually maximize that so I can see that more clearly and it should now sync with all those sources that we've just added online. So at the moment, can you see that it's shown all references? Can you see it's come up Heart of Darkness, Heart Failure, and there's my sources underneath. So now I can start citing my work. So if I go back to my online references and scroll down, go to my library. I can look at my sources. Let's go to health. Tap on it, and on the right, you've got all your information. So now I could get the PDF accompanied that. And here it is on the left. Just remember, look at my other video on this, and it'll show you how to use this. I'm just giving you a quick overview. Now, there might be something in there that you actually want to cite. So I'm just going to copy anything as an example. Control C to copy. We're going to go back to Word. We're going to paste it into there. We're going to cite it. Control V. Now, with the cursor at the end, choose your source here. I'm going to use this by ticking it. Now, we're ready to insert citation. Before you do, you need citation style at the top there. Scroll down and find your citation style. If you're not using APA, which is more for psychology as well, and sociology, select another style and type it in there. So I'm going to type in Harvard. Scroll down. And I'm just going to use any for this example. I'm going to use Bournemouth University style and select update citation style. And there we go. We're now ready to cite our work. So come back up to your references. 
scroll down again with the one you want then you can come down and select insert citation and there's my in-text citation if I scroll down you notice there's no bibliography or reference list yet when you've finished your work click the enter key a few times and then click more and you're ready to insert bibliography and select wherever you put the cursor and the bibliography will be inserted there and there it is and as you work with this it will do an alphabetical order so there's one simple method of integrating Chromebook and Word and Google Chrome 